Hey there, welcome to the A13 session. In the previous session, we have learned what is a schema and a type in a GraphQL, and learn more about the scalar and the object type. In this session, we will continue with the other type. The next type is the interface. Like most of programming language, GraphQL support the interface. As an object, we can define the field in the interface, but field in the interface will be abstract. So type that implement the interface must include those set of fields defining the interface. Interface are useful when you want to return the object or a set of object, but whose type might be a several different type. Fields in GraphQL interface have a same rule as a field in a GraphQL object. Interface keyword is used to create an interface. And implement keyword is used to inherit the object from the interface. Here is a simple example of interface in which base user contain the two fields, username and password. This interface is implemented by the user object type. It includes the mail ID along with those two interface fields. We can also inherit object from the multiple interface just like a CSAP. Here I have created another interface named base admin and admin type implement the both base user as well as the base admin. It includes the fields specified in the both of interface. Multiple interface name are separated by the M person sign. Next is union type. Union type are similar to interface. It allows to return the multiple kind of object. But there is a huge difference between the both in the terms of the behavior and implement. Union represent the object that could be one of the list of GraphQL object type. But it does not provide any guarantee that uh, fields will be uh, common between those types. Union do not define any field. So no field may be queried on this type. To query field on a union, inline fragment must be used. To define union, we need to use the union keyword and uh, separate each kind of type by the uh, pipe sign. Here is an example of the union type. I have created two different object types web result and a photo result. Those object does not have any common fields. Then created a union with the name search result. It can be either the web result or the photo result. Then created a new type which return the search result. While querying the data, we need to use inline fragment because there are no common fields so GraphQL system will unable to identify the field. In the next session, we will continue with the enums and input type. Stay tuned for an next session.